Okay, um, I need to get to my 3.30, and today's the 12th, 12, 11, 19, 7, 4 Okay. Let's plug my 330 in. GPS. Turn on my GPS, directions, choose targeting point, my location, start. Oh, guys, I am so blessed. I am so blessed. <sighs> Says I'm going to show up right on time. <laughs> oh, man, I'm barefoot right now. I didn't even have time to grab my shoe, uh, grab my, uh, put my shoes on. I just grabbed my stuff and left. Um. So, uh, unboxed the iPad mini last night. Did not get a chance to do that on video. Maybe I'll do one later. Probably not. I've got like six things I want to do unboxings on, but I never get to do those because there's just not enough time in the day. Um, wow. All I can say. iPod, iPad mini 5. Wow. That's all I can say. Insta360, the camera I'm working on. It, it times out on my Android, my S10, it times out when I'm trying to Wi-Fi the information from it. It times out. The Insta360 gets super hot and shuts off due to overheating, I believe. I believe that's why it just shuts off randomly. Uh, when I'm trying to download the videos from the camera to the S10, uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy S10, Last night, on the iPad, I downloaded six clips from yesterday. It's live right now. You can go look at them. The camera didn't overheat, didn't shut off. It got hot. It got hot doing it via Wi-Fi. Um, it did get hot, but it didn't overheat and shut down, um, which I was happy. And then using the app on the Galaxy, every time I did the face track, it was super slow, super slow, and it glitched, and I never always heard everything that was said when I was doing the face tracking. Super slow, all that stuff. Well, I did the face tracking last night on the iPad Mini 5, and I I haven't used Apple. I just had to buy the iPod to use the 360 camera, and... Uh, and that was the last time I used Apple. And before that, it was back in 09, so maybe 10 years ago, I used Apple. This specific 360 camera, the iPad mini, they connected so well together. And, and editing the video was so easy. Like, I've got to go get the iPad pencil after my uh, appointment. I've got to show five houses tonight. I've got to swing by and grab the iPad pencil uh, because the pencil I got, uh, it, 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 it works, but it's not it's not doing everything that the iPad mini is capable of. And uh, you never want to hold yourself back due to tools. So um, I'm going to go get that iPad pencil after this. And I was drawing on pictures of my daughter this morning. I mean, on the iPad mini, it was awesome. The editing that I did on the uh, 360 video last night was awesome. Um, if you're in the market for a notebook, I highly, highly recommend checking out iPad products. I didn't want to spend that much money, so I just went with the iPad mini. But they've got some iPad Pros out there that, from what I have listened to on YouTube, they're... I know they're more powerful than both my computers at home. So if you're, I like being able to work anywhere because I 
have to work everywhere all the time. When I'm on vacation with my family, I'm having to work. This iPad Mini, I'm so thankful and blessed that I, that I fell into it with, with the camera not operating correctly with the Android and the Android not having the updates that the Apple has. I, I fell into this Apple iPad Mini. I fell into it. You know how they say God closes doors and opens others? I think God may have been opening the door for me to really look at these Apple products because the editing was totally different. I can't wait to get the Luma Fusion. Uh, I don't know how quickly I'll need it because I'm using the Insta360 app so much on the iPad. I don't know how quickly I'll actually need that, but I, I've been watching videos on that and that looks like some amazing video editing software too. And then Authentitech, he's always, he uses Final Cut Pro. Um, but I don't do crazy videos. Like, I just do regular vlogs. That's what I do. But anyways, uh, I don't have to worry about overheating my Insta360 camera. Because every time I do the Wi-Fi transfer, even with the iPad Mini last night, it gets hot. The camera gets hot. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know if that's normal, if other... Insta360 users have experienced that, but I do experience that. That's one thing that I do experience, and it's one thing that I think is going to limit the life of my camera, because cameras aren't supposed to get as hot as this thing gets. Like, it gets so hot, especially when I'm using the, the S10, the Samsung S10, it shuts off. It gets so hot, it shuts off. That's not healthy for a camera. Electronics are not supposed to get hot. Well, anyways, guys, Josh Ward at Better Homes Garden Real Estate Paramount. To go show some houses. I brought the bullet time handle for the 360 because the customers have kids and I want them to be able to do the bullet time thing. So I like doing that. All right, guys. All right, catch you on the next video. Have a great day. Okay. Woo! Man, we are looking at some houses. Uh, I've just shown two houses in uh, two uh, neighborhoods that were... I'm going to say 75% manufactured home and then 25% real home. Like, I was really surprised that there were some really nice looking uh, stick built homes inside a manufactured home neighborhood. That uh, surprises me because you can't always get as much resale value out of manufactured home neighborhoods as you can stick built home neighborhoods. So, that, that was quite interesting. But um, so far, uh, they're liking one of them that we've looked at and then it sounds like the first one that we looked at may already have several offers in on it uh, at least that's what the seller said he was outside while we were looking at it so um, it, it was priced great price great had a lot to offer so I could see I could definitely see them having several offers on it already oh man so head to the next appointment as we speak, speed limit is 45. That is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to make a little stop at a gas station or convenience store or something along the way. That way we can take a little short restroom break. And yeah, that's what we've got going on. Well, um, I will see you guys on the next clip. Put questions down below. If you got questions about how to schedule houses or stuff like that, let me know. I'll, pr I'll try to do a video on scheduling houses. I'll, pro I'll try to do a uh, screen, a screen um, share on how I schedule houses. It's real simple with the Matrix software. It's way easier than it was back in the day when I used to have to Google all the addresses. So... All right, guys. Josh Bardet, Better Hopes Guard Real Estate Paramount, Oklahoma's listing agent. If you're thinking about selling some homes or land, give me a call. 405-315-7965. 405-315-7965. Have a great day. That house was totally redone. Totally redone. But if you could look around right there, see the neighbor. Um, look around the neighborhood. See the neighborhood. Uh, it's a really, really nice house in a location that just isn't 100% desirable for these buyers. So now we are going to the next house, which is 0.6 miles away, just on the other side of Noble. These push start cars, man, they really give me a run for the money sometimes. 
I uh, accidentally started it when I was trying to shut it off earlier. And then, see, look at that house. Look at that. I look, and this, there's an alley right here. That's cool. Alleys are cool. Oh, there's another fixed up house right there. That's really cool. Oh man, yeah, it looks like there's a lot of regentrification in this neighborhood. That's a four way stop. Quite interesting. Oh man, quite the interesting neighborhood. Oh, this house up here is for sale. Um, there's a wholesaler, there's a flipper trying to flip it up there. Um, take a look at it. Right, right there, right there. Um, I got their email the other day. They say it's a sixplex. One bedroom, one bath, sixplex. I forget how much they were asking for. Back in the day, that, that was probably the home of the neighborhood back in the day. Got to be careful driving around these old neighborhoods. They got the dips in the road. That'll take the front or rear fender off or rear, rear well off in a heartbeat. Oh, man. These old neighborhoods, man. They just, they got so much in them. See the water tower back there? Oh, wow. There's a really nice fixed up home. That looks really nice. Take a look at that. It's the Masonic Temple right there. Is that not crazy? Whenever people are wanting to buy in this neighborhood, I always show them where that's at. Because if you YouTube Masonic rituals, you're going to find a lot of crazy stuff. And that place looks like a fortress. It looks like an absolute fortress. There's cameras everywhere. It's all lit up at night. Why, why does a private entity need something like that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Almost there. Almost there. This other house, it's right by the splash pad. That's cool that it's right by the splash pad. This minivan's turning where I want to turn. It's a Plymouth. Oh, man. Let me go for it. Uh, I wonder if Corey followed. Four-way stop. Go. Guys, you got a Prius. But it gets like 40 miles a gallon. I get 36, and I don't have an electric car. All right, here we are. There's going to be some renters letting us in, supposedly. So we'll see how that goes. When you park in front of a stop sign, you got to pull far enough away that you don't block traffic. Alright, see you guys on the next clip. Check it out. <sighs> they got the bridge down to one lane. One lane bridge. One lane bridge. Ah, it's annoying.
don't worry folks I'm just here all night I'm going to side of this bridge and uh, see you on the next house. Have a good one.